Arcades were a popular hangout from the days of pinball to video games that rose to prominence amid the release of games such as Space Invaders. They evolved over time into entertainment centers that both broaden their appeal for the whole family and target niche player groups. And while The Simpsons appear in a couple of well-known arcade machines, they are a small fraction of the many arcade games featuring Matt Groening's characters. The first arcade game to feature The Simpsons license was a throwback to ye olden days of arcades in the form of The Simpsons Pinball. This pinball machine from Data East released soon after the show's explosive debut in December 1989 and featured very early artwork of the characters, a variety of props, and voices and music as well. The next and perhaps best known title is Konami's The Simpsons arcade game. Released in 1991 as Simpsons Mania swept across America and the world, the arcade game proved to be a perennial quarter muncher, with colorful and lively designs and frenetic gameplay that has drawn in players for decades. There's nary a classic arcade that doesn't have the machine tucked away among its rows of machines. Ticket redemption arcade machines gained momentum as establishments such as Chuck E. Cheese's and Showbiz Pizza Palace emerged with arcade parlors and animatronic bands to entertain children. One such ticket redemption machine was the Simpsons Cupcake Contest from Bromley Incorporated. The goal was to open Bart and Homer's mouths in time to catch the quote-unquote cupcakes dropped from above by Lisa. Eight years passed before Konami took another turn at bringing The Simpsons to arcades with The Simpsons Bowling in 2000. This time, the video game allowed up to four players to play a regular old game of bowling with one of the cast of the TV show as their avatar. A unique trackball controller somewhat mimicked the act of rolling a ball down the lanes. The second pinball game to feature the license is The Simpsons Pinball Party from Stern Pinball. Released in 2003 as a second wave of Simpsons merchandise flooded the market, this pinball far exceeded the earlier effort in presentation, gameplay, and fun. It's a busy playfield, but a joy just to trigger all the different voices and reactions. A resurgence in family entertainment centers bolstered a new round of ticket redemption machines. In 2004, Stern Pinball introduced the Simpsons Cookie Carnival. The machine reused some parts from their pinball machine, but the game was built around rolling coins into point traps in order to earn tickets that could be redeemed for prizes. The Simpsons Skateboard Stomp from 2009 featured a stomping mechanic in which players have to step on buttons to match the lights and earn tickets. Naturally, the game features artwork and voices from the TV show. Arcade amusement developers began to experiment with hybrids of video and mechanical gameplay, such as The Simpsons Soccer by Harry Levi Amusements. This 2012 game combines real kicking and soccer balls with a Homer goalie figure and video reactions, making for an entertaining, if simple, experience. The Simpsons Donut Days from 2015 is a prize redemption game known as a coin pusher where players shoot tokens from a dispenser while a metal plate shoves the tokens towards small prizes, encouraging players to try and shove the prizes and tokens over the edge and into the collection plate. The Simpsons version features character voices, art from the show, and a giant donut atop its central display. And finally, we have something that you can only play if you're over 21. The Simpsons slot game released in 2017 and, like many licensed slot games, has had a short life on casino floors. The slot game features a medley of screens, voice clips, and original animation centered on characters like Homer, Apu, and Krusty. From children's entertainment centers to casino halls, it's been a wild ride for The Simpsons in arcades. The traditional video arcade has long since passed, but as long as The Simpsons remains a recognizable and attractive license, game and amusement developers will find ways to jam them into places you wouldn't expect.